What's up, everybody? I am live now. We have it working. Um, this is probably one of the most important live streams I've done to date because of what's going on in the world. Could you please just let me know? Just comment down below. Do you hear me and do you Can see you me? Still wasting money on expensive there goes an ad running. Do you hear me and see me? Comment down below, please, just so I could know that you could hear and see me because I was having some technical difficulties. Now this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the importance of boosting your immune system, but I want you to understand a few things. Thank you, Julie, I appreciate that. So we have, we're living in a, an unprecedented times right now. We're in this world where everybody's dealing with something because I live in Miami. When we deal with hurricanes and people panic, it's only South Florida, right? But this scenario, it's the world. The world is dealing with this coronavirus. And first and foremost, I am not, I am not an expert in, let me just fix this. I'm not an expert in infectious diseases. I'm not an expert in immunology. I'm not an expert in that at all. So I'm not pretending that I know about everything about this virus, but I'm gonna share with you a few things that I think will make a big difference for you with your mindset, that'll make a big difference with your digestive system, which most of your immune system lives in, and before I give you some protocols, I'm gonna share with you some herbs, some foods, and some free tips and tools to help boost the immune system. I'm gonna share four things not to do that weaken the immune system, and then I'm gonna share some supplements that I'm taking that do cost money, but that is not required, it's not mandatory. For the most part, a healthy individual, even somebody who is, is eating a crappy diet, but they're young and they have a robust immune system, they could deal with viruses. And before I get into the protocols, um, please let me know where you're watching from today. Uh, let me know what your biggest concern is regarding the coronavirus. If you could just share that with me, I could get more of an understanding. If you have a concern, what is it? Is your concern getting the virus? Maybe a parent getting the virus? Is your concern maybe the economy and a job loss? Is your concern a quarantine? What is your biggest concern right now? I'd love for you to share and let me know. I have to admit something to you. Um, I've been going back and forth the last week or so between faith and fear. <laughs> Mostly faith, but I have found myself going down rabbit holes of conspiracies, watching videos, and being fearful to the point where I was actually driving to the bank on Monday uh, to pull out cash from the, the bank and to go to the grocery store and stock up and telling my girlfriend to leave her job and come hang out with me and get cash from the bank, you know. So I, I found myself kind of in a panic mode, and then I, I, I had this awareness, and thank God that this awareness came to me from my coach and mentor, Dr. Pompla, and the group of doctors that I work with, and they really helped me just restore the faith back in me. And I'm gonna share this with you, because this is a, in a, it's an amazing time that we live in. And I am not downplaying people who have lost their life through this virus, people who have lost their job, that, that's terrible. But this is giving us an opportunity now to kind of reset. It's giving us an opportunity to work on things that we have put on the back burner. It's giving us an awareness that, hey, our, our health is our true wealth. Maybe you're somebody who has not been prioritizing your health. Now is the time to get awareness and to take action because we can have all the money in our bank account, but if we don't have the vitality, the energy, the immune system, to live our life, what good is that money? So we want to know, we want to understand that health is wealth. It pays the best dividends and right now, more than ever, people are starting to understand that. So it's giving us more time to read books, it's giving us more time to work on our project, it's giving us more time to spend with loved ones, to spend with our pets. Our pets are super happy right now because everybody's home with them. So there's an opportunity here. When we see so many people choosing faith, a uh, fear, excuse me, why not choose faith? Because the interesting thing about faith and fear is that they both demand for you to believe in something that you cannot see, but it's really your choice. So I encourage you to choose faith over fear. We, I understand this and I hope you do too. I pray that you do too. The human body is absolutely amazing. Our creator, whether you believe in God, Mother Nature, love, the universe, designed us to thrive, 
designed us with an immune system to deal with viruses that have been around forever. So we are built strong. The body is very capable. We have an innate intelligence within the body that deals with stressors. So me personally, I am not worried about getting the coronavirus. I am more concerned about people panicking and feeding into fear. So I want to encourage you to choose faith because our greatest power right now and always is our power to choose our own thoughts. So let's choose positive thoughts. Let's choose thoughts of faith. Let's choose thoughts that are going to serve a future that we want because there is a power in expectation. Expectation is very powerful. Here is a story I'm going to share with you and it's from the Bible, but it's not a religious share. It is about Moses, who Moses was in the desert and he had a group of followers, but he wanted to change their paradigm. He wanted to change their mindset before he brought them into new land. And he knew that he had to make a change with their mindset because they weren't ready to go into that new land until they changed that paradigm, their old beliefs. So they were walking through the desert, no rain in sight, no water in sight, no food in sight, no land in sight. The followers walked up to Moses and said, Moses, we are going to die out here. We are going to starve to death. We have no water. Moses told his followers, hey, I want you to go and I want you to pray to your God for some rain so we can get water. What ended up happening is this, no rain in sight, no land in sight, no food in sight. Followers went back to Moses and said, Moses, God has forsaken us. There is no rain in sight. We're going to die out here in the desert. Moses then looks around the desert and says, where are the ditches? And the followers look at Moses and they're thinking, what do you mean ditches? And Moses says, if you expected rain, you would have dug the ditches to collect that rainwater. You see, are you expecting the world to come to an end? Are you expecting us to get through this and us to be unified and for you to actually get stronger with your mindset and with your health. It's our expectations that make the biggest difference. So expect that you're going to get through this. Work on things as if they're going to be played out. I'm still creating content. I'm still studying. I'm still working with clients. I'm still serving the members of the Keto Camp Academy because I'm committed to that. So whatever you're committed to, stick with it, okay? Stick and stay, it's bound to pay. There's something called the law of polarity. For every positive, Thing we perceive as positive, there's something negative. So right now, there is a lot of negativity with the coronavirus. There's always something positive for every negative. So there's doors that are opening up right now to you, but you have to have the awareness to see those doors because that's the law of the universe. When a door closes, a new door opens up. It's just that we don't have that awareness to see all those open, open doors right now. Maybe you have all this free time and you could read a book you've been holding off reading for years. Maybe it's a project that you could start right now. Maybe it's spending more time with somebody you love. I don't know what it is, but there are doors opening for you. Let's have the awareness to see it and let's choose faith over fear. Okay, I wanted to get that out of the way. I hope that was helpful so far. Now I'm going to get into the protocols here. As I said earlier. I understand the body. I know the body is amazing. It could heal and it has an innate intelligence. I'm going to share some tips with you that can make a difference for you if you choose to let it. So please hit the thumbs up button. And let me know if that was helpful so far and post where you're watching from today. I'm in Miami, Florida. So let's first start with what weakens the immune system here, okay? Alcohol. Your body's going to treat alcohol as a poison because alcohol is a poison. So if you're having all this free time and you're chugging wine or beer and drinking alcohol, it's going to weaken your immune system because your body's going to want to deal with that poison before it wants to deal with building up your health. So let it alcohol in over three years. Next is sugar and carbohydrates. Here's the interesting thing about sugar and carbohydrates. When you have high amounts of glucose in the body, it'll block vitamin C from getting into your, your cells. Okay, because they compete for the same receptor sites. They follow a GLU-1 pathway and your body will have vitamin C, but you're eating sugar and food that turns into sugar like wheat, bread, gluten, grains, even a lot of fruit that turns into glucose in the body. Your body is going to prioritize that glucose and that vitamin C is not going to be doing anything for you. So you want to limit 
our sugar and carbohydrate consumption. Two slices of wheat bread, by the way, spike your glucose as much as a can of soda, a 12 ounce can of soda or a Snickers bar. So I'm talking about grains, I'm talking about oatmeal, all that stuff turns into sugar in the body. This is why right now, keto and fasting can be so powerful because it keeps your blood sugar levels down, okay? And I'll, look, I'll teach you a little bit more about that. Oh yeah, I know this is backwards for you on Facebook. I'll read it to you so you see what's here. Stress is the next one. When you are stressing out, when you are fearful, when you are activating your sympathetic nervous system and it's on overdrive, stress weakens the immune system. So if you're worried about getting the coronavirus, that'll open, that'll, that'll weaken your immune system. So let's choose activities, and I'm gonna share with you some of the ones that I do, that alleviate stress. Stress is not good. If you wanna weaken your immune system, activate that sympathetic nervous system all the time, and that'll do it. Next is poor sleep. Okay, poor sleep is going to chronically elevate cortisol, so you'll have high amounts of stress, which will lead to more poor sleep. It's a vicious cycle. So right now, more than ever, let's prioritize getting amazing sleep. Okay, let's get quality sleep right now, starting tonight. Um, I have videos on my YouTube channel, on my podcast on how to do that. Go check out my friend Devin Burke as well. Sleep is important. Get at least seven hours of quality sleep in a cold, dark bedroom. That is a great way for your body to rejuvenate itself, to boost its immune system, to help your hormones out, and you're going to feel good as well. So sleep is important. So to review, four things that weaken your immune system that we need to stop doing right now is going to be alcohol. It's going to be sugar and carbohydrates. It's going to be stress, and it's going to be poor sleep. Okay. Now let's talk about some things that you can do that are free, 100% free, you don't got to pay anything, but it takes some energy here to do it. Uh, let's see where this is. Here's some free tips for you. I know it's backwards on Facebook. I'll read them all for you. Uh, sleep, <laughs> right? I just mentioned that. It's going to be important. It's going to be paramount. Meditation. You don't have to be a monk to meditate. Meditation can be just sitting in a chair, observing your thoughts, going for a walk, observing your thoughts. You could also use an app like Insight Timer or Headspace or Oak or whatever free app you want to download on your phone. Spend 10 to 15 minutes each day. See, these tips right here are going to activate your parasympathetic nervous system, which is your, your rest, your digest, okay? That's going to help with your digestive system. 80% of your immune system is in your digestive system, okay? So we want to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. We want to get away from the fight or flight sympathetic nervous system. And here are some free tips for you to do that. Um, grounding. I have a video. I have several videos on my YouTube channel and podcast on the amazing benefits of grounding. Grounding is simply just taking off your shoes. They're on this thin your blood, all this electromagnetic field buildup we get from EMFs, Wi-Fi, etc. So grounding is fantastic. Spend some time outdoors. Long walks. I love going for my long walks in the afternoon with uh, my girlfriend Natasha, with my dog Ziggy. Moderate exercise. There's a, there's a curve here. We don't want the immune system. Gratitude journaling. My favorite. I haven't missed a day, a morning or a night of writing down what I'm grateful for for over three years. When we feed energy to what we want, we're going to get more of what we want. One of my favorite quotes from Dr. John Martini is, whatever we think about, and think about, we bring about. Okay, so let's gratitude journal. Whenever you're stressed out, write down something you're grateful for. Here is the facts. 150,000 people die every single day. Okay, yesterday, 150,000 people, they lost their life. Tomorrow, it'll be the same thing. So if you're alive right now, if you're listening to me, if you're watching me right now, that is something to be grateful for. Gratitude and love, two of the biggest healers that we have in this life in this world. See my shirt? It says no time for hate. Right now, more than ever, is a time that we have no hate in our heart, no hate with our thoughts. We have unconditional love for everybody around us in this world. And then I put Dr. Wayne Dyer here. If you don't know Dr. Wayne Dyer, he has passed on now, but he's amazing. I listen to his audiobooks. I have all his paperback books. When I find myself stressing out a little bit, I'll throw on some Dr. Wayne Dyer that's a great way to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. He always says, he always has said that 
When you change the way you look at things, the way you look at, the, the things you look at change. All right, so I highly recommend Dr. Wayne Dyer. Get his audiobooks, get his books. He is a valuable resource for you and for the world right now. Mouth taping. Uh, I like using mouth tape as I go to sleep. It helps you force your body to use your nasal passages instead of your mouth breathing. When you breathe through your nose, it helps deliver more oxygen throughout the body. It activates more of that parasympathetic nervous system. And then left nostril breathing. It, that's a great way to do it. Um, how do you spell it? Here you go. Dr. Wayne Dyer. So Dyer is D-Y-E-R. This man right here. They, Audible has a great um, ultimate library collection of all of his audios and seminars. I listen to that every morning as I make coffee. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, and then left nostril breathing also could help activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Here's something else you can do. We'll do it right now. It's a little exercise you can do. It is, I learned this actually last week from John Asaraf, who's a great resource for you to check out. Let's all, here's a simple way. If you find yourself stressed out, do this little breathing exercise. Let's do it all together. Let's do it together right now. We'll do it two times. We're gonna take a deep breath in through our nose. We're gonna hold our breath for a few seconds and then we're gonna slowly exhale through our mouth, okay? So let's do it together. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth slowly. Let's do it one more time. Deep breath in through your nose. Hold it. Slowly exhale through your mouth. Do that every day. Find yourself stressed out. Do that every day. Thank you, Gary. Yes, please hit the thumbs up button if you're getting value from this video. Share it with a friend. Share it with somebody who's stressing out right now. The world needs videos like this. The human body is amazing. The human body will adapt. The human body has an innate intelligence within it to deal with viruses, to deal with things that are going on. Let's give the body some credit here. So these are all free tips. Now I'm going to transition and share with you some foods, some herbs, some things that also can help uh, boost your immune system, okay? I really hope this has been helpful so far. Here are some foods and herbs that boost your immune system. I know it's backwards on Facebook. I apologize. I'm going to read all of them for you, though. Uh, bone broth. Just make sure it's a high-quality bone broth. You can make it at home, or you could get, like, Kettle and Fire is a great brand that I use. If you choose to get them, you could use Keto Camp at checkout for 15% off. Uh, the bone broth is fantastic for cravings. It's fantastic for lining the gut. It has glutamine, and as I said earlier, the gut is so important here because most of your immune system is in the gut. Uh, ginseng is fantastic. Echinacea, parsley, you could smell parsley, you could cook it with your foods. Uh, pumpkin, kale, sweet potatoes. Kimchi is a powerhouse right now. Uh, I know it's blocked off here on YouTube. Kimchi, uh, if you want to check out a great video, by the way, on, on some of this information that I'm mentioning, go check out Dr. Mindy Peltz. She's a colleague of mine on YouTube. She has a great video talking about some studies about what kimchi does to help boost the immune system. Ginger is fantastic. So drink some ginger tea throughout the day. You know, maybe chewing ginger root. Green, green tea is fantastic. Collard greens, fantastic. Mulberries. I just got three bags of mulberries. Uh, hey, Tim. Hey, Angela. I hope, am I back on YouTube? Let me know if I'm back. The, the resistance is strong today. I think because I, I put coronavirus in my title. You know, I was hesitant, by the way, of putting coronavirus in the title of this video because I am not an expert when it comes to the coronavirus at all. I'm not claiming to be. So I was hesitant, but I put it in there because I think it would help people actually click and watch this video, which I believe will help every single human being. Sauerkraut could be fine as well, but um, I think kimchi is more powerful. Thanks for letting me know, Rachel, that I'm back and I see, but I can't hear you now. Sheila, let me know if you cannot hear me. Thank you, Tara. Hi, Ben. I know it's on mirror, mirror image, I know. Uh, and good to see you, Marcella. Okay. Now let's talk about supplementation. I actually have some of the supplements I have here. Like I said earlier, supplements are not, net, they're not required to boost your immune system. They're addition. So if you have in your budget, throw these into the mix. I'll share with you what I'm taking personally. If I could find it. So here are my favorite. I actually have them here. Systemic formulas, DV3. 
Um, DB3, so when it comes to vitamin D, I'm triple dosing my vitamin D, but vitamin D needs to be taken with all the fat soluble vitamins together. A, D, E, and K. If you're just taking vitamin D alone without A, D, uh, excuse me, without A, K, and E, it can create a functional deficiency because they all create, they all compete for the same receptor sites on your cells. So take them all together. DB3 is my favorite. By the way, I put together a kit for you with all these supplements and you could actually go to the notes of this video and you could uh, check out that kit or go to ketocampkit.com. I have all these supplements listed for you, but like I said, they're not required, but if you have in the budget, go get it. Um, so DB3 has all the fat soluble vitamins together. I'm doing two capsules three times a day, personally. Uh, Systemic Formulas Gold has some herbs, it has some B vitamins, it has garlic, it has rose hips, golden seal, uh, some great things, spearmint that help boost the immune system. Hey Shannon, good to see you on here. Vitamin C, I ran out of my Systemic Formulas Vitamin C, so I'm taking this right here. Uh, like I said earlier, if you're taking vitamin C but you're eating a lot of carbs and sugar, it's not going to get into your cells. Your body's going to block it and, and use the glucose instead. But I'm taking a thousand milligrams of vitamin C every three hours. I think it's important to do it every three hours. Uh, I'm also taking, well, I don't have colonial silver. I, I just ordered it. But I am taking this, this uh, zinc right here. I'm taking three drops on my tongue every single day. Zinc is very important. A lot of studies show zinc could boost your immune system. Um, Dr. Phillips CBD, oh, I didn't bring it here, but it's in my cabinet. That's a great way to reduce cytokine production, inflammation. I'm taking that before bed. AHCC, which is a mushroom blend. I'm using this, I got on Amazon uh, from Source Naturals. And then Deuterra essential oils. I have On Guard roll-ons, I have On Guard diffusers. I have it all, I'm just putting on my body. I'm washing my hands frequently with On Guard soap but Deuterra makes some great products as well. Um, so these are all great ways in addition to boost your immune system. Look, if you're healthy, if you're young, you don't need this, you don't. But if you want to add it to the mix, I am. I'm healthy, I'm young, but I'm still taking this just because I like the ingredients, I know it's high quality. So um, I wanna answer some questions here for you. I really hope this is helpful so far. And if it was, please hit the thumbs up button on YouTube and on Facebook, tag a friend or share this video with a friend who would benefit. Let me actually switch this camera around on um, Instagram. Hey, Instagram. And then shoot me some questions, whether it's about this, whether it's about fasting or keto. By the way, I'm gonna be doing a free webinar on keto that I've been doing every few weeks, uh, four ways to master keto, next Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So if you go to benazadiwebinar.com, you could get that for free. It's online, it's on Zoom, so no, you don't have to leave your house. All you need is an internet connection and a phone or a computer. Uh, how do your bowels take vitamin C, 1,000 milligrams every three hours? Hey, Roberta, I, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I don't have any issues with my bowels. Um, I don't think that's, that's too much for most people, but if it is for you, then just cut it in half. Made chicken feet bone broth for lunch. Awesome, Jackie, interesting. Is it safe to fast during this period? I mean, extended fasting. You know, that's a tricky one. Because what happens during an extended fast, like three or more days, um, the body does, autophagy lowers the immune system. But then when you break the fast, it builds it up stronger than ever. So it's tricky. I would say your safest bet, if you're not following a structure leading up to a block fast, if you're not having somebody coach you like I'm doing with my Beyond Fasting group, to stick with more intermittent fasting, maybe 24 hours, uh, as the safe bet? Great question. We're supposed to take supplements with food. So when fasting, should we take them? Yeah, you can take your supplements, and um, that's always a, the best idea. By the way, if you have a whole bunch of vitamin D, but it's not the one that I mentioned with all the fat-soluble vitamins together, here's what you can do instead of throwing that vitamin D away. You could take your vitamin D with, um, a fatty meal, a fatty meal. So if you eat a fatty meal with the vitamin D, it'll help increase that absorption rate. You won't have that deficiency, uh, functional deficiency ish issue. Richard, hey, thank you so much, brother. I'm glad this has been helpful. Is fasting advisable at this time? Uh, intermittent fasting to 24-hour fasting is great. Your body is going to, when you're fasting, your body is going to divert energy to healing. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a perfect time to fast. I think it's super important to fast right now is the best time in the world 
to have metabolic flexibility, right? With so much, there's not a food shortage, but there's a food supply shortage. So uh, fasting is great. Fasting is fantastic right now. Hey, Sam. Okay, got it. Sheila, thank you. Got it. What is dry fasting? Dry fasting is when you don't eat food or drink water. And there's two types of dry fasting. There is a hard dry fast and there is a soft dry fast. So a hard dry fast meaning you cannot wash your hands, you cannot take a shower, you cannot get rain on your skin, you cannot brush your teeth because your body will suck in some of that water. So that's what a hard dry fast, a soft dry fast means no food, no drinking water, but you can shower, you can wash your hands, you can brush your teeth. Um, you get studies show that, well not really studies, but hypothetically shows that you could get three times the autophagy with a dry fast versus a water fast. So meaning one 24 hour dry fast is equivalent, can be equivalent to three days of a water fast. Vitamin D, sardines, yeah, sardines is great. Yeah, so eat some foods that are loaded with vitamin D, sardines, mushrooms, wild caught fish. These are great foods to have right now to help increase your vitamin D. Hey Camille, good to see you on here. Thank you for all the information. You, you were in one of my teachers though, fasting lifestyle. Oh, awesome Richard, I'm grateful for that. What if your vitamin D is, is in a fat base. Yeah, that's good. I like that, Roberta. Smart companies are doing that. Hey, this is great, my pleasure. Zinc and selenium, also great. Clams and oysters, also great. Great suggestions. I wanna know, I wanna know, could you please share with me? I know you shared a little bit earlier, but I can't see the comments now. Thank you, Doris. Where, you're, where are you watching from? Number one, put your city, put your state, or put your country. And then what is your biggest concern right now? If you have a concern, what is the concern? Is it getting the virus? Is it job loss? Is it quarantine? Uh, let me know. Sprouting seeds are great. Carrie in New York and North Carolina, awesome. We have Talita in Greece. We have Nook in San Francisco Bay Area. We have Julie in Johannesburg, South Africa. Anna in Florida. Hello, fellow Floridian. We have Gary in Ohio. Olivia in California. Uh, Julie says, quarantine is a big fear as well as loss of income. Got that. Shannon is in Illinois. We have Sandra in the UK. We have Amanda. Hey, Amanda in Nottingham. We have uh, Kazopoulos in Greece. We have Mama in El Paso, Texas. We have Richard in Massachusetts coming down to Miami. Hopefully, I'll see you soon, my brother. And what else, what else, what else? We have Maine, Magda is in Maine. Awesome, thank you all for sharing that. Yeah, Rachel, do have your son eat these foods that I mentioned. Have your son, you know, have do things to boost the immune system. Linda in San Antonio, my family's in San Antonio right now. Concerned how I'm going to teach my fourth graders remotely. Yeah. You know, let, let's send, if, if, you, if, if, if you're somebody who prays, let's send prayers tonight and love to those who are really affected in terms of their work. Um, and there's always an opportunity here, okay? It's always an opportunity. Always something that opens up when something closes. You're a wonderful testament to a healthy life. Thank you, Doris. Amazon and grocery stores are hiring with no resume. Oh, cool, I didn't know that, Janae. Biggest concern is health and loss of income, but Greece is already in self-quarantine. So sorry, Rachel. Mask and gloves, good hand washing, my prayers are with you. Praying, I love seeing all the prayers. Camille's in Colorado. We have Sheila, Halliday, Utah. Good to see you, Sheila. We have a lot of Keto Camp Academy members on here. Uh, if you wanna learn more about, side note here, if you wanna learn more about keto and fasting, I'm doing a free webinar next Friday, benazadiwebinar.com. I'm only taking 500 people, that's my Zoom capacity. So first 500 that come, they get signed up. You also get over $200 in free gifts, downloads. Shannon, you're in the academy, so keep doing the things that I'm teaching you. Incorporate this list of foods. Uh, there are free items on here if you missed it that, I, that can help boost your immune system. Sending prayers to everybody. Terry, you're amazing. I notice I enjoy your teaching. Thank you, Claudia, in North Carolina. Dennis, trucking to Miami, Florida, no concerns. It is what it is. I like the faith mindset. Okay, well... I really hope this video was helpful. Please share this video on Facebook, share on your, on, your, on your page, on YouTube, copy and paste the link of this video and text it to a friend who needs this today. 
share it on your social media, on your Twitter. This message is so important because the take home message here is this, faith and fear both demand for you to believe in something that you cannot see, but it's your choice. I believe the human body is spectacular. I believe we were designed to deal with viruses. We were designed to deal with things. We're dealing with things all day long, that viruses and bacteria that come into the body. The body is capable of doing it. What I shared today are ways to assist the body, to assist the innate intelligence within us. So please, I encourage you to share this with somebody, share with your family, share with somebody who, who would need this information, which I believe is every human being. Uh, I appreciate you all, keto campers. Uh, send some prayers and love and, and, and gratitude to the world, to people who are really being affected by this. And let's get through this. Let's keep the faith. And I'll continue. My promise to you is to continue putting out videos on my YouTube channel, on my podcast, to go live on Instagram and Facebook, to encourage you to keep the faith, to spread this, this information on health. I will show up every single day as I have been doing. I am committed to doing that. So... Um, thank you for supporting the message. Thank you for joining me today and have an amazing day. Stay safe out there and I will see you all very, very soon. Much love.